Welcome to another teacher tip with Mr. Long and today we're going to look at a website called Quizzes which is a website where you can create lessons or quizzes that your students can go through and it's been a popular tool for a lot of teachers and so if you don't know about this I'm going to go through some of the basic features with you in this video but if you're someone who knows about it from the past then I'm going to encourage you to still have a look because there's a lot of new things that they've added and so in this video I'm just going to focus on the basics for those who've never experienced it and there'll be some new features in there for those who've used it before but in another video I'm going to focus on the AI aspect and some of the tools that it's incorporated really makes it easy for you to work efficiently to work quickly to save you a lot of time so let's check it out so the main thing behind it is that you are going to create either like for example a quiz where your students can reflect on the understanding of concepts for example but there's some really nice features on the type of questions that it uses but there are other aspects for example you can actually create a lesson which uses slides and you can incorporate quizzes into those slides to make a really interactive lesson that, that students can go through at their own pace. You can create interactive videos where you insert interactions like for example assessments into the video at certain points. You can create passages where you can test students' comprehension skills and they've just recently added flashcards and if anyone knows Mr. Long. I love flashcards, so this is a great new feature as well. So in this video, I'm going to focus mainly on the quizzes and the lessons. So when you create a quiz, let's go create one. So we can create it from scratch, just typing in our own questions. You can actually import questions from a Google form or from a spreadsheet. What's nice about this way is that you can actually click on spreadsheet. And if you come over here, you can actually download a template, which looks something like this, where you can in advance just fill this all out. And then you just upload this and this will create the questions based on the spreadsheet. But we'll do a video on this at a later stage. Or you can just create it from scratch. That's what I'm going to do at the moment. And you can see the different types of questions you get. You get your multiple choice and you're filling the blank, which are your straightforward ones. But look at these other ones. You can draw, where the student has to draw a particular item. You can get open-ended questions, where they're going to type a bit more. You can have an audio response. You can have a video response. You can do a poll. You can even do a word cloud. And I love word clouds. But check out these options as well. You can do match, where you can just drag the answer to the correct prompt. You can do a reorder, where they've got to put items in the correct order. You can do a drag and drop, where you got to drag the right answer to the right place. You can do a drop down, where they've got to select from one of the options. You can do hotspot, so they must identify certain points on a particular diagram. So you create what spot is the correct answer. Labeling, where they've got to put the label in the right spot for the diagram. Really cool if you'd labeling, for example, the heart or the brain in biology and then categorize where you've got to put items in the correct category. As you can see it uses images as well as just text. And then there's some maths response and some graphing options for maths as well. So really some great options here for creating your questions. So I'm going to create a quick one quickly. I'm going to click multiple choice for my first question and I'll type in my question here. So there I've written a question about science in the periodic table. What element has the atomic number 18? I've written my options. Now we must indicate which one is the correct answer. Argon is the correct answer. You can have multiple answers. You'll also notice that you can add audio to a particular question. You can add a video file. You can add images. You can also add images to your answers. If you only want it to be two options, you can delete some of them and you can add more options if you want. So really nice way to insert a question. So we're going to save this question. And so there is our first question. So we can edit this quiz by giving it a nice name. So I'm going to come here and say this is my science quiz on elements. We can give it a particular topic. So we're going to give it, for example, science. We can give it a particular grade. So I'm going to make this for grade nine. You can make it publicly visible so other people can use it or you can keep it restricted. But, but that's normally for the paid version. And then we can add a nice little cover image for the quiz if you've got one. So let's save that. And so one of the really nice new features is I can take quite a while to add these questions. But if I want, I can actually go and add similar questions if I want. And so here's a whole bunch of ones that they've given me suggestions for that I can add if I want. And this is using the AI feature. So I'm just going to save changes and has added those questions for me. So quickly, I've gotten three new questions or I can search for a particular topic and it tries to find other quizzes that are similar to mine. And so we can click on a particular quiz over here and go see its questions. And so there's some nice fill in the blank one. So if I like this question, I can just go, I want to add that one, scroll down. I like that one, I want to add that one. Not all of them are available. If you click over here, some of them are premium resource and you'll need to upgrade in order to get it. But you should be able to find some where you can just take questions from those quizzes. And by just clicking on the add, you'll notice my quiz has just expanded quickly to six questions. So it's very easy to add these questions. So using the AR to give you extra questions, searching for questions from other quizzes really makes creating quizzes quick and easy. 
and then we can publish the quiz, which means it's now available to be used. When we come over here, we can assign this activity as homework. What's nice about this is we can set a start time. We can say how many attempts you're allowed to do the quiz. We can set a deadline and you can set up classes, which I'll do in another video where you can actually assign it to a particular class. So only those students we have access to the quiz. And so this allows the students to be able to do the quiz in their own time. If you want to send it home and say, guys, you've got until the end of the week to complete the quiz, please go do it. And then if we click assign, then we'll get this information where we can give them the particular code to join. There's a QR code. You can copy the link. You can share it via your different platforms. And yeah, it keeps track of the who's actually done the quiz. So let's go try it out quickly. I'm going to click on that join the code and students will go to quizzes.com slash join. They just have to type in the code over here and click join. They can type in their name. I'm saying Mr. Long start. So we'll start it. And we can type in our answer. Let's say I'm going to get this one wrong. We say we can say this is carbon, even though it's not that. So it gives me the correct answer. I think this is iron. So there we go. We got some points for that point. I think hydrogen is also atomic one. And so on. So we're going to go through the quiz. I'm just going to minimize this. And if we look over here and I'll refresh it quickly. Yeah, we can see our participant that's gone through it and where they are, how far they are in the question, what their score is and so on. And we can end the quiz at any time and say yes. And there we can see our students results and we've got a lot of stats which we'll go through at a later stage as well. So let's go back to our quiz. And if I want to run the quiz in class live, you can click on start now. And it has all these different game modes that you can use. Which so very quick and easy to make quizzes. You can also create lessons. And here's where you can import slides from a Google Drive or add different slides to your lesson. And then in between those slides, you can actually add questions as well. So you add your different slides. You can have your blank slides or your slides with the information. You can add web page links if you want. You can add videos to teach a particular concept. And then the students just have to work through them. So if you are new to quizzes, really cool features for creating quizzes, creating lessons. And this is just a small tip of the iceberg of all the features that they got. I'm not even going into the, for example, the feedback that they provide, the memes you can make, so many brilliant ways to get your class to be interactive. But we will explore a lot of them in future videos. And if you someone who goes, oh, but Mr. Long, I haven't got a lot of time to do this. Wait till our next video where we'll talk about the AI features that can really create great resources. They can help you save time. So you can go to quizzes.com and go register an account. There are a lot of great features you can use for free. So play around with it and come check out our next video. For more teacher tips and to make sure that you don't miss out on future videos, make sure that you subscribe to the channel by clicking on the subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment. Also follow us on TikTok at Mr. Long Education. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long way.